Hi, um, I'm Brian. Uh, this is this is my layout. Um, for a while now, I've been wanting to do this, um, mostly because I would like to show you what it is I'm up to. Um, right, okay. Uh, I'll give you a quick scan round, excuse the mess. Um, but yeah, let's have a look around and you can have a quick glance at what it is I'm up to right now. So we've got uh, got that sort of area over there, which I have no idea what I'm doing at the minute. Um, got this bit over here on building station right now. And there's going to be another station going along there somewhere as well as. Also, right to the other side, is my fiddle yard. Obviously you've got a turntable there. There's going to be a coal station up there, hence the ramp. And over here, we've got um, other bits and pieces here as well. Um, actually, I'll show you this one bit. Here we are. We've got this here. Um, this was actually a um, Hornby uh, water tower which I've tampered with using Metcalf card kits, um, just the sheet um, cards. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've done to that one. Um, it makes it look a little bit more, a little bit more realistic. Um, right, what else we got? Oh yeah, right, okay, over here. Sorry. Over here we've got um, two layers, we've got a uh, three lane main track here, all the way along here, which disappears into the tunnel there, and then reappears out of that tunnel over there, and then comes back round underneath another tunnel over here, back round again, and flip you round again, sorry, and we'll exit out of here. I'm actually currently building uh, a new bridge here at the minute. Um, I won't go into too much detail with that because it's quite honest with you with the mass majority of this stuff. I'm guessing as I'm going along, um, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, right, the coal station. Oh, that's a good thing. The coal station, I've actually built that already. Again, out of Metcalf card kits with a sheet card. I built that. Uh, all the lights work. There is working fire inside and and up above. And then I'll pick this up. This will be going in that back corner on the fiddle yard I just showed you. And then if I take the lid off, and then you'll be able to see inside. Uh, that's where the one coal fire is there in that small room there. Um, and then the rest of this I've built here, um, which is sort of mostly out of, I've sort of cannibalised uh, a Hornby goods shed and a Hornby uh, engine shed. I've cannibalised the both to, to fit in there. Um, and that's about it really. Um, so yeah, here's my layout. Okay, now normally, excuse me, normally um, most people would say welcome to such and such a, but unfortunately I haven't got a name, um, which I am still in the process of trying to sort out, but I suppose one will come to me eventually, uh, so yeah. That's about it. Uh, if you're wondering why the room's pink, well, it used to be my daughter's room. But uh, since she's left home um, and gone to live with the mother, I thought, 
I'll use it as a, a layout. As many of you might know, especially uh, with a few people, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, obviously, being up in your attic this time of the year, quite stifling. Uh, at some point, I might actually be moving into the attic. Um, mostly because my wife's sort of complaining she wants the room back. So, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so this is it. Um, I'm not going to be posting videos every week or every month. Um, I will try and post a few more as and when I can. Um, mostly because of the fact, you know, I work every day, obviously, um, and I can pick i just grab a minute here and there to uh, have a go at it. Um, I'm currently wiring up the, um, the fiddle yard. Um, so that's going to be in pieces for quite a while. Um, but the plan's now made up so I know exactly what it is I'm doing. Um, a couple of tips for you if you are planning on building a layout or you're in the process of I have made quite a fair few cock ups in the process um, simply because of fact I had absolutely no idea what I was doing um, the wiring especially god the wiring yeah that took weeks to do and I'm still doing bits of it now um, but if you're at a stage where you're starting to do scenery and stuff like that, I highly recommend Luke's apps. Um, I'm going to do a few shout outs to a few other people now, who I've been following myself for quite a while. Um, he's more into like Warhammer sort of stuff, which to be quite fair, you are not into. Um, but he does give you some really, really good tips on, uh, on scenery. Uh, especially water um, one of which I'm going to have a go at myself at some point in the near future um, by which case of using an epoxy resin that costs a quid from a pound store um, so I'm going to have a go at that um, have a look at um, one of our Australian friends uh, Ch uh, Great Chesterfield Junction uh, Gormo uh, he's quite, he's a very clever guy actually, um, he, he does, what I suppose an awful lot of us, or sort of people do really, is he does a lot of, um, off the cuff sorts of things, like, you know, like, how can I build this, or, uh, or, you know, just like, walk into a store or something, and, oh, I, I know of use for that, which most of us wouldn't have thought of, um, Here's another good one to look at if you want any ideas and tips. Um, Dave Class 47 is really good from um, up north. Um, he does some really good tutorials. Um, and while we're on the subject of tutorials, you've got to have a look at um, Marklin from Sweden. He is brilliant. Absolutely bloody brilliant. He really is. Um, he, he can pick up any old household items from toilet paper um, to various other bits and pieces and turn it into something pretty awesome uh, that you wouldn't, wouldn't have even thought of yourself. Uh, he uses toilet paper to get water effects. It's something I never really thought of ever himself. Um, but yeah, he's really good, good one to uh, look at. Another one is, another one I've been following for quite some time, is um, um, Charlie Brook South East, Steve. Now, he's in the process at the minute, poor fellow, <laughs> of building his layout in his attic, of which I've already said to him, get a hard hat, because of the amount of times I've bashed my head in the ceiling, it's like, unreal. Um, but he's in the process at the moment of, 
actually starting to build his layout. Um, so he's got some pretty awesome ideas. Um, and he's sort of going in the right direction. I've given him a few tips. Whether they come to any use or not, I don't know. And hopefully uh, one day I might actually get to uh, get a few tips off him maybe. Um, but yeah, he's definitely another one to look out for. Um, yeah, so, so anyway. Um, I'm going to keep this short. It's um, rambled enough already as it is. Um, but I have um, said to a few people, look, I will... I will post uh, a clip on, on YouTube and um, well we'll see what happens um, so happy modeling everyone and hopefully at some point or another um, I'll post another video if you like it uh, hope you like my layout um, and I hope to see you again soon okay Right, and take care for now, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.